Hey there, fellow time travelers through the ever-shifting sands of nostalgia. Remember those days when the flickering glow of the television screen held a certain magic that transported us to different worlds? If you ever tuned in, let me take you on a trip down memory lane, back to 1963. It was a year when bell bottoms were in, the Beatles were on the rise, and a spine-tingling masterpiece known as Black Sabbath made its eerie debut. Did you watch it back in the days? Oh, the memories. Close your eyes for a moment and think back. Do you remember the shivers that raced down your spine as Boris Karloff introduced each tale of terror, or the way your heart pounded during those suspenseful moments? Maybe you had a soft spot for a particular story or character, like the chilling Boris Karloff himself, or the spectral beauty of Jacqueline Piru. What about the cryptic atmosphere that enveloped each episode? lingering long after the credits rolled. I'd love to hear your cherished recollections. Now, let's dive into some intriguing tidbits about this cult classic. Black Sabbath wasn't just your ordinary horror anthology. It was a unique fusion of gothic storytelling and cinematic innovation, a masterpiece directed by none other than the legendary Mario Bava. It's amazing how this show left an indelible mark on the horror genre influencing generations of filmmakers. Stay tuned for more captivating insights, and feel free to share your thoughts and memories along the way. Let's celebrate the nostalgia and unravel the mysteries of Black Sabbath together. In the 1963 movie Black Sabbath, there were additional scenes filmed featuring Boris Karloff introducing the segments. However, American International Pictures decided to remove these introductions from the film. Harloff later expressed that these introductions were some of the most enjoyable moments he had experienced on a film set. The segment titled The Telephone in Black Sabbath is considered one of the earliest examples of a giallo, which is a thriller, horror subgenre. This subgenre gained popularity, notably through Dario Argento's film The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Furthermore, The Telephone in Black Sabbath holds the distinction of being the first Italian thriller to be shot in color. These aspects offer insights into the making and influence of Black Sabbath, a 1963 horror film. Boris Karloff's involvement in the pioneering use of color in Italian thrillers helped to shape the legacy of this classic. In 1963, the movie Black Sabbath made its mark in cinema. Some interesting tidbits about the film's history shed light on its origins. The film's title, Black Sabbath, pays homage to Mario Bava's earlier hit, Black Sunday, produced for American International Pictures. Riding on the success of Black Sunday, the distributors opted for a similar title, hoping to capture the audience's attention. Boris Karloff, a renowned actor, joined the production because he was under contract with AIP and the studio was keen on another collaboration with Mario Bava. His involvement added to the film's appeal and star power. Interestingly, Black Sabbath had a lasting impact beyond the silver screen. In 1968, a band called Earth, playing in Birmingham, England, found themselves overshadowed by a nearby movie theater showing Black Sabbath. Observing the long lines for the horror movie, the band members realized the allure of the macabre. They decided to change their name to Black Sabbath, and the rest is history, as the band went on to become one of the pioneers of heavy metal music. Black Sabbath left an indelible mark on both the film industry and the world of music, a testament to the enduring influence of horror and the creative connections it can inspire. In the 1963 movie Black Sabbath, Boris Karloff plays a crucial role during the Wordalak segment. In this segment, he almost never blinks, intensifying the eerie and suspenseful atmosphere. This deliberate choice by Karloff, a horror icon, adds to the tension and creates a memorable performance. The Italian title of the film, I Tre Volti della Pora, translates to the three faces of fear. This title reflects the film's anthology structure, where it presents three distinct tales of terror, each with its unique brand of fear. Notably, Black Sabbath is the only film in which Boris Karloff plays a vampire, a departure from his more famous roles as Frankenstein's monster and other horror characters. His portrayal of a vampire in the film offers a fresh perspective on this iconic actor's talent in the horror genre. In summary, Black Sabbath is a 1963 film that features Boris Karloff's exceptional performance in the Wordalak segment, marked by his almost constant lack of blinking. The Italian title, I Tre Volti della Pora, aptly captures the movie's anthology structure 
and it stands as the sole film where Karloff portrays a vampire. This adds to the film's significance in the horror genre. In 1963, the movie Black Sabbath left its mark on the world of cinema. This Italian horror anthology, directed by Mario Bava, consisted of three chilling tales. One of these segments, The Telephone, earned its place in history as the first Italian thriller to be shot in color. This pioneering use of color in the thriller genre marked a significant cinematic achievement. It added depth and intensity to the film's suspense, enhancing the visual experience for the audience. While the movie itself may not have directly influenced the naming of the heavy metal band Black Sabbath, its impact on horror and thriller filmmaking was unmistakable. This genre's ability to captivate and terrify viewers has continued to inspire artists across different mediums. The telephone segment of Black Sabbath is a testament to the power of innovation in cinema, forever changing the way thrillers were presented on the screen. So, whether you're a horror enthusiast or a film history buff, Black Sabbath of 1963 holds a significant place in the evolution of the thriller genre, thanks to its pioneering use of color. In the 1963 movie Black Sabbath, there's an interesting connection to the world of horror cinema. One of the film's segments, The Telephone, is considered one of the earliest examples of a giallo. Giallo is a thriller horror subgenre known for its suspenseful and often gruesome storytelling. This subgenre later gained popularity through Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Another intriguing aspect of Black Sabbath is found in the segment titled The Wordalac. During this part, the legendary actor Boris Karloff, who also served as the film's host, barely blinks. This deliberate choice adds an eerie quality to his performance and enhances the overall chilling atmosphere of the movie. Moreover, the film's title, Black Sabbath, is a nod to Mario Bava's previous work, Black Sunday, which was made for American International Pictures. The success of Black Sunday played a significant role in the distributor's decision to choose a title that was reminiscent of Bava's earlier hit, aiming to capitalize on its popularity. These elements contribute to the unique and lasting appeal of Black Sabbath, a 1963 horror film that has left an indelible mark on the genre. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of the 1963 cinematic gem, Black Sabbath, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the indelible mark this film may have left on your cinematic soul. Released in a year that carried the echoes of an era of change, this anthology of terror offered a chilling glimpse into the darker corners of human existence, prompting us to question the nature of fear and the mysteries that lie beneath the surface. Perhaps you were drawn to the eerie atmosphere of the telephone, where malevolent intentions tangle with twisted emotions. Or maybe you found solace in the macabre beauty of the Wordalac, where the line between love and horror blurs in haunting ways. And, of course, the iconic The Drop of Water may have left you with a shiver down your spine, a reminder that some secrets should remain buried. Your thoughts, memories, and emotions about Black Sabbath are as unique as your own perspective on life itself. We encourage you to share your favorite recollections, the moments that made your heart race or your mind wander into the shadows. Whether you're a seasoned horror aficionado or a curious first-time viewer, your perspective adds to the tapestry of the cinematic experience. Thank you for joining us in this journey through the eerie and atmospheric world of Black Sabbath. We're grateful for your time and interest in this classic piece of cinematic history. Your insights and reflections are what make the magic of storytelling truly come alive. Until our next encounter with the world of cinema, remember that every story is an invitation to explore the depths of our own humanity.